All right, so it's Lynn Davis with Pangeality Productions. I'm here on the Puna coast of the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm here at the Kalani Oceanside Retreat Center where I've been doing some work with them and just amazed by this incredibly gorgeous place in the heart of the jungle where not only is it this retreat center where people come for yoga and meditation and dance workshops and other stuff, but there's also just amazing agriculture and Hawaiian culture uh, preservation and sharing. And here I am right now up in the aquaponics area, part of the agricultural program they got going here where they are growing all sorts of greens that they're feeding to both guests and employees and volunteers here in the dining hall. And I'm here with Barkus, who's the head of the agriculture program, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the uh, aquaponics program, which is all about, what is aquaponics? <laughs> aquaponics is uh, combining the growing of fish, which is aquaculture, with uh, hydroponic plant growing, which is growing plants directly in water. Uh, when you grow hydroponically, you have to add a lot of fertilizer to your water. With the introduction of the fish culture, we provide the uh, nutrients from the fish poo themselves. Uh, the benefits of this system is that you can grow tremendous amount of food three times faster than normal methods, plus you get to uh, harvest the fish themselves. So you're growing your protein and your vegetables. So if I understand this correctly, it's a closed loop system in which the fish poop is the nutrients for the, for the plants, right. and then the water flowing through their roots is coming back to get yeah. filtered through the fish tanks? Exactly. The, fil the, the root system filters the water, making the water cl uh, clean and livable for the fish. Awesome. If you want to get a good example of that, yeah. right here you can see the, the quality, the darkness of this water compared to the color of this water. This is where the fresh, wa the recycled water is coming back into the fish tank. Nice. And so this system is a system you've been rocking for two years, but you said you have plans to grow it into expanding into a, uh, a different kind. Can you tell me about the two different flavors? Sure. This is what we call constant flow, meaning that the water is constantly flowing through the system, delivering nutrients to the plants. In the next stage of our production, we're going to do what's called an ebb and flow. The ebb and flow takes uh, the water, the constant flow of the water, and turns it into a flood and drain method. The plants are grown in pea gravel at that point, which we then flood and allow it to drain and then reflood. What that does is the pea gravel captures the solid materials and provides that as nutrients for the plants growing in that. Great. The plants that will grow in there are more root crops such as uh, carrots, beets, potatoes, things of that nature. Whereas the constant flow is more set up for leafy greens like lettuce, chard, kale, uh, basil, onions. Great. Can you show me the green part of the system about where the plants are growing here? Sure. So what do you got growing now? We've got, uh, right now we just finished harvesting all of our tomatoes uh, and we're getting ready to put in a new crop of tomatoes. But right now we have our green onions, our watercress, we have basil, kale, shards, uh, mint uh, growing. And you guys uh, eat the fish as well? Yes, we do. Uh, we eat the fish right now for our volunteers. We have to uh, first receive uh, FDA approval to put them on our lanai. Awesome. But our volunteers get to enjoy them as part of their barbecues. Sweet. So all this water here is just circulating through. Yeah. And they're full. Can you lift up one of these styrofoam trays yeah. for me? The water comes from the fish tank. It comes through these tubes into the trough and then it just flows down through, gravity fed to the bottom. And this is just an example of how the roots grow down through into the water. Wow, amazing. So you got the green onion here. Yeah. You got some watercress and the water just cycling through here, just like cascading ponds. And then great looking basil over here. Water all gravity feeds down to here. This is our lowest trough, so we've not used any power until we get down to here. Then we use a little bit of power from our solar panels to pump the water back up into the fish tank. Nice. The so. water is all recycled, so it's a great system for those who live in the southwest where it's rather dry. This is a great way to conserve water. Awesome. 
Very impressive system. Nice. It is. So, and then uh, you've got the compost program, all of the wood chipping. They've got, yep. there goes a mongoose running out of the pile. Yeah. Our uh, goal here is to be as sustainable as possible. So all of our to-go products, which are made out of compostable food products, such as uh, potato starch and corn starch, go into our compost. All of our napkins, paper towels go into the compost. And we even take it to the point that in Hawaii we have an issue with invasive plants and some of them grow as big as 70 and 80 foot trees. So we cut those trees down and put those into the compost as well. Awesome. So <laughs> this is just the aquaponics program of what's going on here, but over beyond, you know, just over there, there's a whole fruit orchard. There is a section where a kind of propagation department where they're taking uh, clippings as well as growing things from seed and reintroducing them. There's new construction here, uh, and so they're planting gardens all around that. And it's just a beautiful uh, demonstration of a kind of large sale sustainability program. This is a retreat center. But it's a not-for-profit center, so it's you know it feels like this beautiful, gorgeous resort in the middle of the jungle with all this you know wonderful organic food and right by the gorgeous ocean. But at the same time, it's not-for-profit, so you have people coming from all over the world to volunteer here, all kinds of teachers, uh, and it's just the bomb. It's incredible. So it's Len Davis with Pangeality Productions. I'm here at Kalani Oceanside Retreat Center on the Big Island of Hawaii on the Puna Coast. And this is uh, what a demonstration of large-scale sustainable living looks like. So thanks so much, Marcus. You're very welcome. All right. Peace, okay. man. A couple of things for you.